Hey everybody, Josh from All Points Fly Shop. I have two rods here that are very similar, but also very different. Uh, they share basically the same name, they're made by the same company, but their flavors are very different, and because of that, we get a lot of questions here at the shop about what the heck is the difference between the two of them, and also, and more importantly, why would one be better uh, for me than the other? Uh, it is the Axiom 2 and the Axiom 2X by uh, Temple Fork Outfitters. So today I'm going to go over a little bit about the specifics of each of the rods. I have the nine weights here. With the introduction to the Axiom 2 series, uh, the first rod that was released was the Axiom 2, and then shortly thereafter was the Axiom 2X. Uh, the Axiom series holds within it what TFO calls Axiom technology. And essentially what this boils down to is that they've created a way of introducing Kevlar into the blank material, into the, the graphite as well. And this is true from the butt section down to the tip of both rods. What this does in turn to the fly rod is it really helps with shock absorption on both ends, meaning that from a, uh, from a casting perspective, if you have heavier flies on, uh, for a lot of the guys up here, that we're outfitting for uh, fly rods, specifically eight weights, nine weights, and 10 weights for striped bass. We are throwing heavy flies, heavy lines, and a lot of times with people that don't have the correct rod or line or system set up, they get that really annoying and inefficient, is really the best way for it, uh, that clunking uh, feeling on the front and the back cast. And also from a tracking standpoint, on the release, uh, the Kevlar in this Axiom series has really helped dial in that classic sort of boing, that wobble that you get on the release, which can affect not only your distance, but really importantly for those that are sight fishing and need accuracy, it really, really affects accuracy of rods. Not only at short distances, but at long distances as well. The original Axiom 2, if you will, um, has the ceramic uh, stripping guides. So for the first two guides, they are the, the ceramic guides. Of the Axiom 2X compared to the ceramic guides in the Axiom 2, uh, the Axiom 2X utilizes uh, these recoil guides for both the stripping guides here. You'll see that the handles are fairly different as well. Uh, not only is the cork shorter, but it has a smaller diameter, uh, and it does not reach up nearly as high, thus the length. So if we were to kind of even them out, uh, this cork is slightly shorter. Uh, the reel seat's a little bit different. Uh, but generally speaking, the biggest thing that we have found uh, with the cork is a sensitivity factor. Uh, one of the employees here, Joe Webster, which I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with, uh, fishes the 9-weight regular Axiom 2 and says that he very much notices because of the smaller diameter cork uh, that there's a better sensitivity uh, with the line. Specifically, if he's crab fishing uh, for stripers, meaning that he's using a crab imitation and slowly dragging it along the bottom, uh, you have a better connection to the blank through the the smaller diameter cork, uh, so those subtle takes and the vibrations that get translated through the rod are felt a little bit better through this cork system than, <coughs> excuse me, than they would be through uh, something like this, which is noticeably thicker and also a little bit bigger. Now for the most important stuff. How do these rods perform and what the heck is the difference between the two of them when you actually start casting them? So the blanketed statement between these two rods, for the most part, is that the Axiom 2 is slightly softer than the Axiom 2X. But that's not really where the story ends right there. They definitely have their own flavor and they definitely have their own advantages and disadvantages when out on the water. The gut jerk reaction is this is a faster, crisper, streamer specific rod and this is a more uh, utilitarian, uh, all-rounder rod, if you will. But it goes well beyond that. Talking again specifically with these nine weights here, uh, these are great options for you uh, and also very, very unique. So I hope that helped out a little bit. Uh, there's a lot more involved here, so if you guys have any questions, please feel free to give me a call or talk to Joe about it. We're very familiar with these. If you have questions, please give us a holler. Um, yeah, enjoy your day.